so welcome back to my vlog series and as you can see for my trombone vlog i'm not actually playing trombone today i'm actually playing euphonium and the reason i'm doing that is i wanted to talk today um as this is kind of addressed to um students of trombone and students of euphonium or, or low brass in, in general who are interested in pursuing a career in music that will involve music performance because as a professional musician, you're going to have to be required to play a number of different instruments or trombones, uh, whether it's due to blending purposes or uh, the particular setting of a, of a piece. A lot of my young students, they get a large bore F attachment trombone, and they think that is the end all and the be all to, to a trombone. They play that instrument at concert band or orchestra, and then they even bring it into jazz band, where those kinds of instruments are not typically used, uh, but they think it is okay. Uh, chamber groups, um, any kind of playing, and they think that's all they'll ever have to play. And then in college, I know a lot of bass trombonists that play bass trombone exclusively because they have the idea that they're going to grow up, and I say grow up, they're in college, but they're going to go out into the professional world, and they're going to be the bass trombonist of the New York Philharmonic or the next bass trombonist of the Chicago Symphony. And while I always want to encourage those dreams and aspirations, we always have to be realistic, though. And as a professional musician and teacher, I am called upon a lot to play trombone in various ensembles. Everything from rock bands to jazz bands to chamber groups to orchestras and... Uh, any kind of thing else that comes my way, churches and so forth. So I have a collection of instruments that I'm sure you guys have seen on my channel that fit various roles. And I always want to make sure that I am prepared to perform in, those, in these various capacities at a very high level. So I know that due to financial reasons, not everybody can own six or seven instruments. But if you're going to be a professional and do this for a living, it is important that you begin to expand your instrument collection early on and buy appropriate equipment. For example, if you have a large bore tenor trombone, the next thing I would recommend that you purchase would be a quality small bore instrument. And no, this is not an instrument just for marching band. It is a high quality instrument for things like jazz band. For example, um, when I was in college, I never used my small bore tenor trombone, but I did have one, and most importantly, I did practice it. And I'm glad that I did, because nowadays, I'm the trombonist for a top 40 rock band that plays on the, on the weekend, and has actually become a great source of income for me. And I'll, I'll, for, for being someone that's naturally a, a bass trombonist, it was really out of my element at first, but I had practiced the instrument, and it's very small, it's, it's very different, than what I was uh, used to, but as a professional, this is something that I am expected to do. And if you're thinking about about pursuing a career in music, you should be as as well. I might have to play a small bore trombone on Friday night, and a bass trombone on Sunday, and and then my uh, large bore tenor trombone on Monday, just depending on gigs and the venues that I'm playing at. So. Um, I guess I'm going to kind of end this with just saying be a versatile player. Whether you play in a valve instrument, which is, which is great, because I play this in uh, chamber brass groups all the, all the time and sometimes for uh, churches or a small bore instrument or a large bore instrument, be versatile. If you own more than one instrument, practice on both of them or three of them or whatever you have. Make sure that if you were called as a professional to play a gig, you have the correct equipment to play that gig and have played that instrument enough to play it well. So be a versatile player. That's the best advice I can give to you guys today, and something that I think will serve you in the long run, especially if you start early. Because even when you go to, go to college and you start gigging uh, for your first time or, or uh, more often, you're going to start uh, being asked to do more and more in a, a wider variety of things. And the more gigs you're able to accept because you feel comfortable and have the proper equipment to do so, the more successful your career in uh, professional music will be. So anyway, uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'm very pr uh, happy to say I've been getting some more subscribers lately to this um, kind of young channel. And uh, so I'm always interested in hearing comments and, and welcome anybody's thoughts. So thanks for watching.